This is the Crypt of Gerard Dryden. I really don't want to run this one on Reaper. Uh, I was going to run on Reaper, and I'm going to reset now and give it a shot on, on Reaper anyhow. A uh, little low on cash, which is making it hard to buy things like Ray Scrolls, which are very expensive for my hireling. Uh, when I tried Reaper on housekeeping, oh, speaking of Reaper, right off the bat, Now, when you see that, you can really just like walk right out because, um, you know, you probably won't get that instance. But, you know, maybe by that being there, it won't be somewhere else. And it was in a pretty easy spot. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try this on Reaper. It's a little, uh, a little bit iffy whether we'll succeed. Uh, you know, the big problem on Reaper is you can't re enter. Um, if we could re enter, I'd feel confident we could do this. But since we can't re enter uh, and we can. Like, I think we're not really getting one shot, but let me put my, this trinket back on. We're not really getting one shot, but, you know, we are getting, you know, big hit by the Reaper, big hit by the Champion. You know, that combination we're seeing a lot and was close to death in the last quest, which is a lot easier than this. So, uh, but I'll give it one shot here. And if I die, I'll just re-enter on Elite. And part of the reason I'm willing to do take this chance is that we're at, we need 2,500 points for our next Reaper, or 2,500 XP for our next Reaper point. And by running these, uh, running this and a few other, you know, a couple of other quests we ran at Reaper, we might get to that third point before we get to the next level, which is going to be a big level for us. Next level, I very well might uh, step it up to R2 because we get Ghost Touch uh, in our level six Paladin core. I'm going to break these chests one at a, or these uh, carsophagus one at a time because I don't. Uh, if they're going to spawn a reaper, I want to kind of want it to be controlled. When these things break, they break a bunch at a time usually. Uh, if they break on their own. And there's a Reaper right there, and this is part of the reason why we're just run, fighting these uh, guys out here to start. Because when these ch or when these Carsophagus open, they could spawn another Reaper, and just you know try to not get too many in one, sh you know too many Reapers in one. I was going to fight them out here. No, I guess not because they're archers. And it'll be nice. Next level, we'll be able to um, upgrade our. Hmm, hopefully, I didn't sell my my. Okay, good. Want to make sure I didn't sell my impact. Um, impact uh, quarterstaff that I just got, because for next level that'll be nice.
Time to renew all my buffs. That was a cyclonic blast, I believe. Uh, it's probably too far up on my combat now to see for sure. Yeah, it's gone, but um, it looked like a cyclonic blast, and that could one-shot us, potentially. It didn't there, but you know, depending on the roll, it could one-shot us. Uh, I didn't think we'd get it that soon. Maybe, I, maybe it was something else that I misunderstood, but it sure looked like a cyclonic blast. great thing about this one is it's basically just a shrine so uh, now what we have is we have this sort of I'm not going to shrine yet uh, we still have enough 
hit points, it looks like spell points still flare up there to keep going. But if uh, we get into trouble, I'm going to renew my buffs here. If we get into trouble, we're going to retreat back this way to be near the shrine so we can raise ourselves. Well, I wasn't trying to give a case study there, but it looks like I did. So um, we're right by the shrine, so we'll be able to kind of get back into business. Um, if, if I uh, actually get up, let's see, well, these guys are moving back. That's a good deal. So if I recuperate up, oh, there we go, recuperated. Whoops. So I'll need to shrine here pretty soon. Was hoping to do that a little bit later, but um, we're just going to have to do that. And uh, I think we're we're in good shape here. The hireling's doing good, but this this is a tough quest. I knew it was going to be. So really nothing, no surprises so far. Okay, run back here. Carnage Reapers, nothing to sneeze at. Haste Potion. And now we're close enough to run to that shrine if we need to. So whenever I see a Reaper, uh, I'm probably going to run back a little bit. Make sure that I can get to that shrine if I need to, since 
we really don't want to restart at this point. I mean, if it happens, not a big deal. Probably restart on Elite. Um, but, you know, we've gone this far, so we want to make sure, you know, do everything we can to get our Reaper XP. And the good news is we're pretty close. This is our fourth room, so um, th th three with enemies, so pretty good job. Larethor's getting low on spell points, so we're going to have to shrine soon. And back here. And there is a way, by the way, if you're, if you, uh, if you run into problems with your hiring, there is a way you can, you can get around that. Uh, basically, once he's shrined and then he runs out of spell points again, you could dismiss him and then wait five minutes and resummon at the entrance if he hasn't timed out. In my case, my guy's probably going to be timed out by then. But if you have extra hirelings or a different hireling, then you can do it. Okay, so we're, we've now opened all the outer ones. There's just a few of these guys to take care of, a few more of crypts. And so we'll do this and then go back and shrine. I don't know if Larifer can make it back. We'll just do what we can do. But it feels like about the halfway part point. I think until I get to uh, cure moderate, it's just my self healing is going to be weak. I think once I get to cure moderate, I could probably make it a little bit better. Whenever you see a potion of visibility, pick it up. So that'll be useful for uh, stealthy repossession. The skip level two quest we skipped. If we get enough of these, we'll probably do it earlier. Otherwise, I'll just do it as favor cleanup at a higher level. Uh, we'll probably have a good enough UMD at higher levels to do the invisibility uh, wand or scrolls. Right now, we don't. Before we do the intercrups, we're definitely going to go back and shrine. I think we pretty much got as far as we're going to get without shrining. And so you can just you can see why I was hesitant to run this quest on Reaper. It uses a lot of uh, resources up from my, from from me from my hireling. Um, takes longer. It's harder. And if we fail. It's like you know we're 30 minutes into it or whatever. It's it's a total a total loss of time. So that's why I was you know if it's a tougher quest, I tend to want to just run it on elite from this first life. 
it's nothing to be, uh, you know, nothing to be ashamed of for sure. I mean, it's, you know, I think being realistic this first life and saying, hey, we don't have gear. We don't have any money plat. We don't have uh, past lives. So I think what we're doing is pretty good being able to run on Reaper at all. So I feel really good about what we're doing. And, and uh, uh, except I don't feel good about not resting Larather. So let me rest him. That would be bad. If we get in the next fight and he's not rested. All right. So now we'll do the inner crypts. Um, let's see. Is this one of them here? Might as well start with this one. You can see my shield clickies are going off like crazy from these arcane skeletons, and they're doing other spells on me too. Whoops, I'm all of a sudden taking damage. There we go. And my higher links held. Okay, that's bad. Time to time to get out of here. Get closer to the shrine. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But if I die, I want to die right by the shrine here. All right, let me get, heal myself up a little. So we got my shield thing on, so I'm used to being to that. All right, so I'm going to try to get Larather, bring up, bring Larather back to the shrine. Could have put him on passive there. I, I want to heal him up before he wastes spell points healing himself up because he's got that healing nerf. And really want to do with wands. My wand's actually doing pretty good um, for healing. I think better than my spells. And then I'll get myself healed up and have him do it for me. All right, so we're back in action. A little, still have all my land hands. I didn't have to use any there, so that I feel good about that. And we almost have one room done, so... Uh, not, not overly panicked about that. It was, you know, rough, but once we have that shrine open, we can just retreat back. Oop, I meant to have my staff on these guys. All right, that's one down and two to go. So um, I took the fight in that room because those arcane skeletons were there. I probably should have been a little more patient and just try to draw them back. That's usually what I do in these rooms. But, you know, the arcane skeletons go from range. And so they, I thought I could actually attack them without them, uh, without more things getting aggroed. But I was wrong, and that was a very bad mistake. So back up. And then once, once they did spawn, I stayed in there, and I should have backed up. So that was my mistake. It wasn't a very cost. It turned out not to be a costly mistake, but um, Reaper's very unforgiving. So when you when things like that happen, you just need to be you know kind of reflect on it and figure out okay, what did I do wrong there to make that happen? And there's usually something that you can come up with.
well, the Reaper's opening up all those crypts, and if he's not going to come out, I'm certainly not going to not going to go in there till we while we can get him. There we go. Everything we got on him. Just notice my buffs are running out, so I'm going to re renew those. Arcane Skeleton could easily kill our Hireling. I think we're a little more resistant to what it can do, but our Hireling isn't. All right, that's two out of three, so we just need one more, and then we'll do the end fight. And the end fight we're going to do in an alcove near the shrine to just be on the safe side. This is the start of the quest. We're kind of going around in a circle. All right, finally the end fight. But we're gonna circle around till we get to the shrine and then find the entrance nearest the shrine. I don't think it's this one. I think it's the next one over. And by having all these sarcophagi destroyed, we can fight in this hallway without having to worry about, uh, you know, a bunch of skeletons spawning on us. This one, okay. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna try to draw them back to about here to fight. Fear Reaper. Let's get behind here, although Fear Reaper is doing damage to us now. Let's get that let's get him first. Everything we got on these Reaper, on these guys. There we go. Lots of mobs. You can see why I want to do this fight over here. All right, so that went pretty well, even with the Reaper. And so now all we have to do is run into here. And I think because the skeletons are all broken out, we're done. Success. Oh, and reward. Let's see what we got here. Nothing really spectacular. Uh, we'll just see if we get our end reward. And nothing of no, no value here. So we'll just recall out. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss a talking step and have to go all the way back up again. So. Uh, definitely a challenge. Let's see how much Reaper XP we got from that. 
210, you know, probably not worth it in my opinion. It took 30 minutes, um, but it would have probably taken us 20 minutes or 25 on Elite. So that's one way of looking at it is that you got 200 Reaper XP for 10 more minutes because we, we can't run the rest of them unless we run that one. So that's it. That was a that was a nice run there uh, for Reaper Reaper One on a probably the toughest quest in the.